Now, Rangers Football Club has signalled its intention to go into administration. The Glasgow-based club has lodged legal papers and has five days to formally declare that administrators have taken over. The chairman, Craig White, said in a statement the decision to go through a formal restructuring process was the most practical way to safeguard the long-term future of the club. Well, Lord Reid is still with us, talking to us a few moments ago about the release of Abu Qatada. Also stayed on to talk about this story, Lord Reid, thank you. Uh, given your interest in the SPL and also your background as a former Celtic chairman, what do you make of this move that they could be Rangers going into administration? Well, as you said, Samantha, I'm a former chairman of Celtic and as chairman of Celtic Football Club, I don't think that it's for me to intrude in private grief or the private problems of any other club in Scotland. Um, my views and the views of, of the Celtic board, and I'm sure it's still the same, um, are that financial stability and probity and integrity always has to accompany um, putting a team on the field, and that's what we tried to do. So uh, I don't intend to comment on, on any other club, but I know that Celtic have a sustainable business model, and I'm sure that the present board uh, will maintain that business model, which will work and give financial stability with or without Rangers in, in a league. So from Celtic's point of view, I think that's all I would confine myself to saying and not comment on Rangers at all. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you about that. If they do go into administration, what impact will it have on Scottish football? Well, I don't want to speculate about any particular club going into administration or liquidation or, or any other issues. Um, but as far as Celtic fo football club are concerned. Uh, I think it's well known in Scotland and occasionally it has annoyed our supporters and I understand that. Uh, when the board has insisted that the two things that must go together are the putting of a, a good team on the park but at the same time maintaining financial stability because without that Celtic has always believed that um, you win the minutes but you lose the hours. Uh, and so I'm absolutely persuaded that the Celtic board will have maintained that position and have a financial model that will allow them to uh, survive and thrive, uh, irrespective of who's in the league, as I said, with, with or without Rangers. Lord Reid, thank you very much. We do appreciate you staying on to give your comments on this story as well this evening. Thank you.